this is the Judith Lieber bag that I, was almost mine. Here's what it comes in. Look, it comes in this. Comes in this little thing, so you know it's expensive. And also, it comes with a little registry card that says what number it is. Donna got number 9924. It was mine, it's now Donna's. I'm just gonna leave it here for the rest of the show so that I can get to enjoy it somewhat before Donna takes it home and goes off to her many satin required pocketbook events, I suppose. I mean, I don't have any to go to, but Donna, my dresser, needs the $4,000 bag, whatever. Our first guest does it all, from music to TV to film. She's proven that when it comes to versatility, she rules. She's winning rave reviews for her role in the new movie, Living Out Loud, which I loved. Please welcome back to my show, my buddy, Queen Latifah! <laughs> All right, how many times? You got producers, right? Yeah. Beat them up. No, I, we have, you've been on the show for many, many times. Not you, not you, because she cool. Uh, all right, listen, <laughs> I said, oh, I want to hear you sing, sing. And then you do this movie, Living Out Loud, which you're great in, and you really sing in this movie. And I thought, Latifah's going to be here. She's going to sing. Listen to what she sings in there. Listen, is this? Here we are. Going out of my head. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Amazing in the movie, Who's and I water, want, that's yours. yours, and I wanted you to sing, and you can't sing today. Because nobody told me to like two days before that you really wanted me to sing. I didn't know if I would have, you know, you gotta, it's different when you sing in jazz, you become a songstress. It ain't yeah. like, right, you know, just rapping, you gotta do it right. If I'm gonna do it, you know I wanna do it right. Will you come back sometime and sing one of the songs? I will come back and perform a song, any song you want me to do. Okay. I'm not, any of the songs I'm no you, chicken. Any of the songs you did in that movie. I'm a perfectionist, no. Because uh, the CD is out, I have the CD, and I'm telling you, you sound so amazing on this. You Thank really you. do, and I was so happy. This this is a great it's movie. It's weird. My, my um, family members have... It's funny, because, you know, always, when, whenever we have a premiere in New York, it's like, I'm from Jersey, so, like, all my family comes. Hey, Jersey! Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, like, all my family comes, and this movie was, like, a movie they could really enjoy as adults, and then the, the soundtrack is what really... I mean, they're still coming up to me like, Dana, that, that soundtrack is really, really something else, man. I play it for my friends, and they're just, Dana. Yeah. I'm so, and I'm like, you know, it makes me feel good, you know? A little nerve-wracking, Holly Hunter. A little <laughs> nerve-wracking, Academy Award winner. <laughs> Come on, were you scared a little what, bit? What she do to people that everybody's <coughs> asking me? What, Holly, what you do to people? Well, she's, like, one of the best No, you know what? It, it was, um, no, it wasn't nerve-wracking, but it kind of put me on point. I just had to be on point at all times as, an, as a young, up-and-coming actor, moving from another, you know, you know, profession, basically being music, into acting. It's like, you really just gotta be with it and on it and committed to it. And it was cool because, you know, she's great. Yeah. And then Danny is like a sweetie pie. So he's, there's no pressure when you're around Danny, but when you're with Holly Hunter, it's like, Holly Hunter? Didn't she win the Academy Award? <laughs> yes, she did. Well, you gotta do a scene together? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, as long as I hold my own, I'm cool. And you know? boy, did you ever, Dana. You should be very proud of yourself. This Thank is you. such a fun movie, and you play a friend of hers that she meets in a bar. You're a singer. Yeah. And uh, this is one night when you guys, oh, we have a clip, you guys are deciding to go out. Yeah, because and... she's going through stress, and we both stressing, so we gotta get out and have some fun, which is what you need to do when you're stressing. Okay. Go party. And this is a clip of party. them deciding to go out and have fun. Take a look. Dana and Living Out Loud. This place that I'm thinking about is after hours, so it might be best if you just don't go home. I suppose. It's not like I have an actual life. <laughs> <laughs> well, this girlfriend of mine took me to this place called The Confessional. Absolutely fabulous. I mean, it is a scene, honey. That dance floor gets pretty wild. You may not want to try it on your first time. Really? But I mean, it's just fun to watch. Come back here around two. We're gonna go. We're going. Okay. I don't realize how good it is. Maybe I don't. Really not. <laughs> back with Queen Latifah. Now, when you were singing, did you have somebody in mind? Who you were? You Sarah Vaughan? Who did you have in yeah, mind? Yeah. Well, was it... I don't, you know, the song, one of the songs that I did is called Lush Life, and the version that I liked. 
um, was by Sarah Vaughn, right. who I'm a big fan of anyway. Plus, she's from Newark, Jersey again. There you go. You know, so right, right. <laughs> so there were times when when I would, it went in the studio to record it, I was kind of saying to myself, "Okay, Sarah, I know I'm treading on your territory. Just bless me. Just give me a little help and." And let me pull it off with respect in the way it's supposed to be done. And it's a beautiful song. It's it a is. really, really beautiful song. And, you know, jazz is something, I like the standard. See, my father used to play jazz in the house all the time right. when I was little. And, but it was like that, da 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 And I'm like three years old, I can't understand that. It was like too mature for me. But the standards I could pick up on because they were basic and kind of simple and you just easy melodies to, to pick up on. So... It was cool. I picked like standards. Ruth Brown, Be Anything But Be Mine, Lush Life, Sarah Vaughan. And people are coming up to me saying that that's really a hard song to sing. Yeah. And I really didn't realize that. And I'm glad I didn't know that before I chose it. Yeah. <laughs> did they let you pick I... which ones you wanted to do in the club? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they did. That's mm -hmm. great. Myself and uh, Richard Lagrabenes, who was the director, director and Anita yeah. Camerata, we kind of like went through a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of music. And I had actually suggested Sarah Vaughan, but another song. Something, shootily bop, shootily bop, shootily bop, shootily bop, shootily bop, you know, a scatting kind of song. Right. And he played Lush Life for me, and I was like, yo, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one. But I didn't know he was going to shoot it like he did. First scene in a movie is incredible, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm giving props to the director for choosing this kind of shot, but it's so incredible that I'm sitting there like, oh, my God, that's me. It's in my breasts are all over the place. So I figured I'd bring them with me. <laughs> you know, I figured I'd just bring them today so oh, you can get used sure, to what you that's see right. <laughs> if you got them, let them show up, honey. <laughs> well, you are so great in it. It's now playing all over the place, and the CD is available. And I'm, Dana, I'm telling you, you knocked me out. It's a I wonderful movie. I think we got movie. some other breast people out there. I didn't hear extra. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's right. We're going to go to a break, and we're going to talk about your new talk show, which is going to be uh, so amazing. I did one of the episodes, and I had nothing but fun. Hooray, Back Rosie. with Queen Latifah Rosie. after this break. We're back with Queen Latifah, who picked up my doll at the commercial. There it is. There she talks. You see that? It's cute. Now you got your own talk show. You'll get your own doll yeah. any day now. What's see yours says? Oh, cutie patoot. Mine's gonna say word is born. No. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh one, yeah. Two, one, two. No, I'm just doing. <laughs> now uh, tell everybody about your talk show because I know you shot the pilot and it was we so much fun. We shot the pilot. It was fun. It was we shot nine different episodes basically. One of which was you. Right. Which was fun because you know she's crazy. Yeah. It's certifiable, and so you get us two together, and it's two crazy people in the room, which is always fun, you know. So that was cool. Um, we did some issue stuff. We did some celebrities, and we talked about a lot of different things, and it was cool, and I, I really feel comfortable doing it. And yeah. I think there's an audience out there, a, a young kind of audience, you know, somebody... My fans, basically. Yes. I think all of my people are going to watch the show, and they're going to watch to see someone like... Me, because, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And they will, because you're no. very good at it. You're very natural. We have a clip. This is, uh, you're talking about body image, right? Yeah. Mind yeah. you, I'm real, I'm, this was practice for me. Yeah, this is so, a practice show. This is not know. gonna air. This is just a practice show. <laughs> Take a look at Dana's like This is an opinion. I like a thin woman. And if you notice, everyone in the audience before, they all clapped when she said she lost 150 pounds. Why did everyone she clap? Right. Absolutely. Okay. But for me, Absolutely. But for, me, for him, he likes a thin woman. I'm happy with you, and I am happy with her. That's right, and okay. you should be. Well, let me ask her. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you happy with yourself? I'm pretty happy with myself, but even as a size two, I still feel that I have a butt, but I, I mean, like, it's... You won't... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a butt. Would somebody in the audience like to really show her a butt? <laughs> Who got a booty? Two and have a butt. Yeah, you Come just, on. You just want to hit I those people. I had to show people. her what. Maybe, well, maybe that was a butt. I showed her a booty. 
Yeah. You know, there's yeah, a yeah. difference between said booty and said butt. Right. No, but we, we had a lot of fun, you know, and it was a learning experience for me. And How's your mom doing? My mom is fine. She's, uh, she's great. Yeah? She's engaged to be married. She is? Well, well congratulations to her. Yeah. To that same guy that she's been with a long time? Yeah, she's been dating him for a while. And I've, I've actually known him since I was a little kid. Yeah. He was, he was, he ran the camp that I went to, and she was, like, arts and crafts. She teaches art at Irvington, so... Um, you know, they finally hooked up after all these years. They kind of kept... They were, like, too cute for each other at the time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was, like, so fine, and she was, like, so gorgeous that I don't think they would have trusted each other back then. But now that they too old to run around like <laughs> <laughs> No, I think they're, they're settling they're, in. You know, they're ready for each other. Um, unless you talk to my dad about it. But, um, <laughs> he swear he gonna get my mama back. Don't, don't... Why am I telling you all this? <laughs> Here you go. Stop to edit. You, you gotta learn to, to edit. Okay. Yeah, no. No, but I'm glad for her. She's a wonderful yeah. woman, and uh, I'm so proud of you. I really am. This Living Out Loud movie. You're so wonderful in it. It's Dana. funny. The it's movie a great is movie. Funny. It's funny, and it's, it's a wonderful funny. thing. Go on a Saturday night, take a date, yes. and you will uh, not be sorry. You Thank won't. you for being here. You Thank come back you. and you sing. I will. I will. Damn. I promise. Damn. I promise. <laughs> we'll be back with Kid Joe Tellers right after this.